Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice. And unless you are a CEO of an evil mega corporation and have been hiding for the past week, you might have heard of a little game called Marvel Rivals. Within three days of release, over 10 million people have downloaded and played the game. And while I'm making this video, there are currently over 300,000 people playing just on Steam right now. Needless to say, NetEase Games and Marvel have a hit on their hands. People love the game. I love the game. All my friends who have played it love the game. How can you not love the game? It's a fluid, fast-paced, team-based shooter with all the superheroes we grew up with in comics and TV shows and movies with the roster currently sitting at 33 characters to choose from on day one of release and an endless supply of equally famous Marvel heroes and villains to draw from and add to the roster in the future. I enjoyed playing the game so much I forgot to touch grass and within two days of release I hit the rank of silver in competitive mode and the game tells me that means I am ranked higher than 78% of the player base. That's good, right? I should be proud. I should be excited. I'm a badass. However, there's just one glaring problem. And it's the same problem that has been plaguing Overwatch 2 since Overwatch 2 was released two years ago now. Before I get into the problem, let me preface what I'm about to say with this. I have been playing Overwatch 2 almost non-stop since it was released. I never really played Overwatch 1, so when Overwatch 2 was released and I started playing, I was bad. Like, really bad. It took me almost a year to get out of bronze, and then I finally recently reached a high of platinum on tank and support and hit gold on damage. Not great? not bad either. I tell you this to say, number one, I'm going to be using the terms tank, damage, and support instead of vanguard, duelist, and strategist because that's what we're all used to at this point. And number two, I have experience in all these different roles that are associated with team-based shooters like this, and Marvel Rivals has obvious similarities to Overwatch. Most of us know in Overwatch, if you want to play ranked, you have to queue into the role or roles that you're willing to play, right? One tank, two damage, and two supports make up a full and balanced team. Overwatch forces us to play this way. Logically, since a team is only allowed one tank, it should take a lot longer for you to get into a match if you want to play the tank role because there's only one slot to fill for that role, and there are two slots to fill for all the others, right? Right? Except that's not the case. Do an experiment and jump into competitive Overwatch 2 right now and queue for all roles. Nine times out of 10, you'll be given the tank role. How is this possible? Why does this happen? Well, the problem is nobody wants to play tank. Nobody. Slight exaggeration there, but for one reason or another, a lot less people want to play tank than they want to play the other roles. Maybe it's because it's the most demanding role in the game. All the responsibility. The team's single tank pretty much has to dictate the flow of the game. The art of the push and pull, creating space and then backing up for the regroup and then pushing back in again make one mistake as the tank and your team starts flaming chat with tank diff, tank diff, when they could have absolutely queued for tank themselves, but they didn't because it's just not as fun to have all that responsibility when you can shoot things and hear that tick, 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 tick of the feedback of you are hitting your shots and it feels like you're contributing. It's more fun to play the damage role and then feel like a badass when you jump in with your ult and get play of the game with an enemy team wipe and you get to look at the leaderboard and see, oh, I had the highest kills in the game. I'm a badass. The fact is it was probably the tank that set all that up for you and made it possible for you to make that play. 
I know I'm generalizing here, so don't flame me in the comments with things like, well, not always. The point I'm making here is in Overwatch 2, it could get daunting to either wait in queue for 5 to 10 minutes if you want to play damage or support, or you can just jump into a game almost instantaneously if you queue for tank. Because for most people, playing tank just isn't as much fun. And that's why we play video games in the first place, right? Because it's fun. Right? Remember fun? This brings us back to Marvel Rivals. I have been playing the game non-stop for days now. I like to think I'm a team player. So when I would jump into competitive games, I would wait to see what role the team needed to be filled before I would choose my character. And guess what? Almost without fail, the first two people would immediately choose a damage role. Sometimes four or five people would all choose a damage role and then reluctantly one of them would switch to a support character which left me with the option of not being a team player or choosing to play as tank. Marvel Rivals does not currently force us to have the traditional quote balanced team comp of two tanks, two damage, two support. This should be a good thing and allow us to be able to come up with a variety of team comps and be able to innovate with different strategies, etc, etc, all that kind of stuff. But let's be real here. In a team-based game with roles like this, you will probably need to have at least one person in each role. A team of all tanks or all damage or all support just typically will not cut it if the enemy team is more balanced. So there I was playing tank, 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 and quite frankly, kicking butt. And as I'm about to hit gold, I realized if I don't start playing some other roles now, and I just get pigeonholed into always playing tank, if I ever want to play a damage role, I will absolutely get demolished by someone who's in gold or platinum or higher, and all they've been practicing is damage, when the only role I really understand is tank. If I never play support and I wait until I'm in those higher ranks to play them, I just won't be able to keep up playing with characters that are completely unfamiliar to me. Playing these roles in quick play teaches you nothing about how to compete. The only thing you can really learn in quick play is the basics of movement, get familiar with the character's kit, but the actual ebb and flow of how to play your role as a team must be learned in competitive with other people around your same skill level. If you're always just pub stomping noobs in quick play, you never actually learn how to play competitively. So as I'm about to hit gold, I stopped being the quintessential team player. I would type in chat, sorry y'all, I'm tired of always playing tank, and I would choose damage. I have been wanting to learn to play Iron Man. So there were four or five damage rolls filled and maybe one or two reluctant supports that also wanted to play damage. And we would lose and then lose again. Sometimes someone else would reluctantly choose tank and we would still lose because they haven't practiced how to play tank yet and are about to hit gold and they would just run in by themselves and try to 1v6 a team and wonder where their heals were at. Bro, we can't out-heal all of that. You gotta learn to take some cover sometimes. But they just don't know that yet. You can't be mad at them for it. They've never played tank before and they're about to hit gold. The second problem is there are currently 18 heroes to choose from in the damage roll and only eight tanks and seven supports to choose from. That's more than double the characters in the damage roll to choose from. And if you just want to have fun playing with one of your all-time favorite Marvel characters, then statistically speaking, there's a lot higher chance that they are currently in the damage roster. So what's the answer here? Do we want rivals to force us into queuing for certain roles? Would that ruin the fun of the chaos of the game? Would we want to be forced into the 2-2-2 comp? I've had a lot of fun with teams switching things up mid-match with three supports, or just totally surprising the enemy team with a one-time full six-man push with all tanks or all damage just to make them type in chat WTF 
and then quickly switching back to the more balanced traditional team comp for the next push. Forcing to queue for certain roles would take that option away from us. Do we want separate ranks for each role? Do we just want an Overwatch clone for competitive? Or do we want to let Marvel Rivals cook and give them time to make the competitive scene viable? What suggestions would you make? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, remember to keep moving forward.